Hey, you okay? You ought to be arrested. Wish I could, but I'm the only one here who knows what happened that night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She got no relatives and no close friends. She was sick often, always, on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed that she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. So, what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? If it wasn't exactly spontaneous, people are actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What, like one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh. Well, I'm not buying it. Oh, dear. Uh, what was he? Well, if you were right, what are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, A is the only one to witness this so far. Oh, Jesus, why don't do this? But if you're going to take on a sus suspect like that, you better ask Baker for a better sidearm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, this is going well for me already. <laughs> I read your report. <clears throat> I read your report. Still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. Come back later. Alright, welcome back to Parasite Eve. Last time, we were an opera to die for. And medication. Oh, the police theme so good. But, but if you're right here, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? ESP, huh? I'm not buying it. I believe her. I be <sighs> I believe her. After all, she's the only one witness for her. But if you're gonna take on the suspect like- Oh, right, right, right. Yep. Alright, let's go. We're gonna be going all over this police station. There's a lot of things. Hey, uh, you better put on your vest too. Can't be too careful. Right, thanks for reminding me, dear sir. I got a vest, a new one, Kevlar. Oh yeah, it's twice as good. <laughs> At last it's mine. Your inventory's full. Your inventory's full. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to this room after. I need to get rid of things. Luckily, there's a storage here. Mmm, this theme's so good. The music in this game's pretty good. The weapons department? You didn't hit your head last night, did you? It's right downstairs. Ah, look at the dogs. Wish I can give her a nice Christmas dinner. I know who you're talking about. Can I read that book? Nah, no, okay, it's just decoration. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the weapons. Oh, wait. Oh, went the wrong way. Oh, was that door? Oh. 
All right, here we go. Torres first. I remember that storage. No. All right, Torres, let's do this. Oh, it's Wayne, right. Hey there, good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That ah, baldy, who knows? So will it be shotgun, rocket launcher. Wayne! Yes, sir? Idiot! Like, idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay, sheesh. That one came out of nowhere. Torres, I need some equipment. For last night's uh, for last night's case, it was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's all a vicious cycle. I hate to hand you a weapon to a young cop like you. But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty handed. Say, you can't carry any more equipment. Wayne! Take her, take some of her things and put them in storage. Yeah, yeah. You have something to say, officer? N no, sir. So you want to leave something here? Uh, yeah. Oh, man, my, ooh, that itches my throat. I hate it. All right, we're sticking that with you. I am not using it. Oh, no. Oh, move. Yes. Oh, all right. I'm going to try and keep things separate. Heels go there. These are completely trash. I can just put them all the way down here. All right. I'll keep uh, probably no revives on me for now. I don't need them. Also, I love how fast I forgot everyone's voice. That took two seconds. It's like, God damn it. Alright. All right. Here, this is the most powerful gun I can, get, can allow you to have. M16A1. Captain Baker already... Now notified me. Show me your modification permit again. Which gun? Give me a second. I know what this is going to happen. Add slot. No. Come back with a modification permit if you need to tune up your equipment. Psst. Let Taurus. Don't tell Taurus, but you can use your tool to tune up your guns. You can rearrange equipment perimeters too and add and add effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune up techniques. And here come tools and tune ups. Tune up icon. Using the tool item, you can add or remove perimeters and added effects on your weapon or armor and create and customize Create your customized equipment. If you remove an ad effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. The number of ad effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on that equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting yourself your 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 equipment modified at the NYPD weapons department. Basically, the mod permits put an extra slot on your weapon, making your weapon have more effects. You got that? Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. Of course, can't use them without bullets, so you better make sure you always have your club. Just in case, you know. Now, why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Storing equipment. I don't need the vest. I, 
honestly don't need the club. Can't. Oh, I can't give you the club. Okay. No, I'm not reloading. I'm moving. And I'll equip. Uh, actually. Yeah, I thought so. Give me a second. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to reload. There we go. Better. Also, if you're wondering, that's discard junk. Uh, in a level, there's a certain enemy that drops a thing called junk. The junk is worthless. But if you give him 100 junk, and yes, your inventory space is only so much. So basically, it's the grind fest. Give him 100 junk, and he will give you a really good rare gun that you can only get otherwise. Oh, a tool. I'm going to store that with you. I'll leave it here. Actually, yeah, the mod permit too. If you're wondering what I'm doing and why I'm not using them right now, there's no reason to. And, oh, let me open that. That's, I think, ammo. Yeah, I remember correctly. But if you use all your permits and stuff now, you're using them on weak guns that don't really do anything for you at the moment. So you want to hold on to them until you get some guns with some decent stats and all that, and then you start moving things. Hey there, you get lost? Oh. Ben. Daddy! So this is Ben. Ben, this is Aya. Now tell me what you're doing here. Here! Tickets. Oh, yeah. The concert. Sorry, son, Daddy's real busy today. I promise I'll make up for... Fine! Ben! Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father, too, after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. Stop yawning, it's still kind of early, me. Nope, nothing in here. You met Daniel's son, Ben? Daniel divorced his wife, like, last year. This is before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father, so he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt he has any time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Alright, alright, I'm going. I extremely doubt that chick is snooty, just for some reason it's the voice. Sir? And this is why I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> you were looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now, and I want you there too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as a sole survivor of that incident. I see. But your only answer when I ask you. 
the media is just going to look for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect. So let me do the talking. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. So, you're saying this could be the work of a terrorist? That is what we currently speculate. How about the accounts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was... That was due to a rare, highly flammable chemical, which was used to start the fire. Another question. Then how did Detective Bree survive without so much as a minor burn? That is a result of quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. Hey. Your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa. No, she said she was Eve. But according to report, Melissa Pierce... Yeah, that's right. Was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body's been taken over by this Eve... What's this Eve? Some kind of alien? People, please. She is very tired and we're still investigating. That'll be all for today. Yeah, I think there's some things you should keep your mouth shut about. That's one of them. I, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? There's only... You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... Baker here. Who... What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Me? You'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Uh, all right. Some Japanese scientist, I think, couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some kind of Mido... Mido something. Says he's coming over here. Mido... Is it... Mitochondria? You mean that thing that... The cell makes... Energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve has said. That's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey. Mm. Ooh, scratch the throat. <coughs> hey. I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory about them. Ugh. <coughs> Ooh, it really tickles the throat. Don't do hay like that anymore, jeez. Whew. Sir, I'm gonna take Aya to go see this researcher. Go, better get there before the media and may explain that phone call too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. I completely forgot that one guy's voice. Oh god, I'm not good at this. I'll go to the car. I'll bring the car around. Meet me out front. All right. I'm gonna go to the lock lockers real quick because there are two of them that have items that I can take. <laughs> nope. There we go. Ooh, a vest with auto on it, which I know what that is. Auto cure. So it lacks in stats, but it has auto cure. Basically, I use medicine, my HP is low automatically. Quite good, honestly. And my P energy goes up too. Hmm. Well, either way, I'm gonna pop one of these in the storage. I'll probably wear this one. I'm not too worried about taking too much damage. If I am, eh. Trust me, I beat the game a few times. I think I know what I'm doing. Barely. Mm. 
You want to leave something on me? Stop it. Why does it itch my throat so much? Uh, all right, I'm going to definitely take a sip of my coffee. Oh. Oh, it's hot. Mm. So good, though. Uh. I'm bad doing high-pitched voices. What can I say? And my throat's like, you irritate me. Knock it off. Oh, wait until we get to the Japanese guy. Ooh, how am I going to do him? Yo, no, speak a Japanese or. Uh, what a case to have on Christmas, huh? Yes, it is Christmas now in the game. Merry Christmas. No, this episode is not coming out on Christmas. Now let's go to Carnegie Hall. No, museum. Not Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall is where we came from originally. Alright. Alright, here we go. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp be there. Dr. Clamp, what's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something, but seems to cover up the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. American Museum of Natural History. With a chocobo on the front, by the way, and the blue flag, if you didn't see. It is a chocobo. Which... I hate to say, I don't think that's accurate in the Museum of Natural History, just saying. It's been a while since I visited this museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Love these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what the security guard can do for us. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay. <clears throat> doing okay. Pretty cold day though. How about yourself? We're with you, my people. Yeah, I'm killing myself. Well, actually, sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you, it shouldn't take long. Old man tried to do an old person voice, and that cough is like, do it, for love of God, stop. <laughs> Place is pretty creep. Oh, you'll find him on the... Oh, wait, what? You'll find... You'll find him on a second in the... Oh, God. Hmm... He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out of a... Thanks. Just hope this place doesn't explode or anything one of these days, you know? Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's a policy. Let us keep track of who comes in. Thanks, eh? Gee, Daniel. You sure... You don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebook's over there on the counter, thanks. Just my name? Yep, that should be enough, unless you want to leave your number two. Hmm. 
Okay, we got this. Oh yeah, over here. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Hello. Hey. Dr. Clamp? Dr. Clamp? I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? This again? What is this? This man. I know him. I think. What's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned the mit that my that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you? That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed to some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? The mitochondria possesses its own unique gen- No, no, no. The <clears throat> The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kinda like a parasite or son, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example, the brain functions due to the interaction between the axons and the den dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This is not only pertains to the electrical discharge, but also applies to the heat energy as well. He, then you mean then the combustion from last night were? For example, a human to burn and melt 1,600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within the single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body begin functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy will be generated and released. Melting a human in a puddle, a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is out, is out uh, off. It, oh, is cut off and in the essence dies. The same can be said from aging. The 
mitochondria mutates ten times faster in cells. Of course, this also applies to the mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply energy production, levels decrease. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the be beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at the rate, this rate. It's no surprise that the that they possess a power beyond the co our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with the human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they, they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. Eve. They, the suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? What? <clears throat> hey, you know why... If you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself... Eve? Sorry, but I told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know all the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. Yeah, I was trying to do some nerdy voice for them. What's gonna work? So I just did my normal voice. Uh. Uh -huh. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. That man. I've seen him before. But I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Hey, looks like we got a break on the case. What? We gotta get back to the station, I. Hang on, I'm kicking this in the turbo. Not gonna lie, it already looks like we're going quite fast. Ah, uh, I love this game. Reading out loud, not so much, but. Eh, whatever. Maybe after doing this for all, my throat will get used to it. Oh, man. I hope I have to remember the Chief's voice. The other two lackeys, I don't remember theirs. I'm not talking. Oh, wait. He's over here. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get go. Oh, oh, okay. Jeez, don't actually leave, you know, the text there so I can read it. Okay, I think he's like, it's just, yeah. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was canceled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. The concert is at Central Park's Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine! They're at the concert! What? Daniel! Screw you, Baker! My son's in danger! Daniel. Aya. Watch his back. Yes, sir.
So, the level we're going to is where you can farm junk. I will not be doing that on the camera. I doubt anyone wants me to see me. Harvesting 100 junk from enemies, it's at least going to take an hour. Even sped up. When are you going to let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be some to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see these guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you gazer. <laughs> I hate that so much. Listen, I like you, man. You're cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to make a scene. But that goes for you, too. You can never be too careful with guns. Do you have any equipment modification permit with you? I do, and I'm not using it. I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Man, I could do so much better. I could turn that gun into a cannon easy. You want to leave something here? Yep. Thank you. I might want to save, thinking there is a safe spot at the park, so it should be fine. Here we go. Time for a Ghostbuster scenario. Woo! What the hell does Melissa no Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big er er area. Damn! Thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. That is Central Park, and that is all tabbing out real quick. Okay. Daniel, stop! I gotta get my boy, rookie! Ah, oh, whoa! Sometimes you got to look before you leap, old-timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but, I will go and get them out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. All right, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. Aya. Benz, don't worry, I'll find him. I won't come back until I do. You recovered fast from that, by the way. I'm sorry, if I was set on fire like that, I think my arm would get good, you know, torched. Alright, we're here. Let's do this. Now, if I remember correctly, the enemies in this area are snakes, apes, oh, gorillas, and birds. Let's save it. Um, dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna save in two different slots, just in case something ever goes bad. Need recording, I shall jump up and down on them. Alright, let's go. There's a chest right there. I'll take it. Mm.
Snake! Oh. Oh yeah, this gun is so good. There are way better guns in the game. Rocket launchers, shotguns, SMGs, assault rifles, pistols. The best gun in the game, I believe, is a grenade launcher. Level up. Parasite powers have evolved. Slow. Slow enemies AT recharge. Quite useful, honestly, especially during boss battles. Basically, it does what you think it does in Final Fantasy. It slows an enemy down to make their attacks and all that slow down. So you can act a lot faster against them. Ugh. This game makes my throat itch. And not for the reason I thought would. Because I'm trying to make a bunch of stupid voices to all the cops and stuff and keep forgetting it. And then I keep doing higher pitched voices for other characters. And then my voice absolutely hates it because it tickles. Alright. Let's do this chest. I think it's poison. Oh, actually, no, it's an M9. M9. Oh, wrong button. M9. Are you any better? No, you're actually a lot worse, but you do have a three round burst. I can probably put that on something after. But yeah, basically, I. Alright, so you're about to probably meet the bird. Yep, these birds have a thing on them called Scrap. The Scrap is extremely useful to get that gun. The problem is, you need a hundred of it, and I do not feel like doing it. Junk, my bad. Uh, no. I am not taking junk right now. Junk is useless until you get a hundred. I'm not doing that right now. I could do it after. Yep, and that's how you can tell she's here. Eve was here. Zuki. So that's the one annoying thing about this level is if you don't know, these you can interact with them, and there's a key in that drawer, and sometimes if you don't know, you'll spend hours looking for it. Trust me, I've done that. And you can also move this. There we go. Ooh, got a grenade launcher. Eh, it's still not that good. Oh my. That's a pretty good vest. I'll save her quick. Checking memory card. Do not insert or remove memory card. Overwrite data. Saving. File saved. Let's go. Alright, we're going this way. There's the monkey. With the banana hand. Which is a boomerang. The grenade launcher does okay damage. It's AoE too. Very good AoE. I'll take the ammo. I'm gonna not use a medicine, but I'm gonna use my heal. Let me check. Yeah, I got 16. I have the zoo key. I know where I have to go, but I'd rather look around real quick. The tool.
there's the chest I was looking for. And there's the encounter I expected. Birds and monkey. that no junk all right do I want to go this way yet or not yet not yet okay not what I wanted. That still works. I gotta be careful because there are enemies in this level like poison. Also, my max health is at 101. Nice. I'll take two medicines. Why not? I might even use one. How much health do I have? Yeah, I got... Let me uh, do this. There we go. There are so many different types of rainforest snakes. Some are poisonous, but most are not. Oh, the giant worms of South America are very important to the rainforest e ecosystem. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Medicine 2, which is basically a high potion. I'll take that. Defense plus 1. And I don't remember. Can I go back to the police station to drop things off? Huh? Maybe. I could check real quick. I could put fast forward on. Uh. <sighs> I'll check real quick. If I can go back and drop things off, that'd be cool. But I don't remember if I could or not. Alright, let's do this. Ah, uh, the yellow one's poison you. Level up. Parasite powers have evolved. Detox removes effects of poison. He's dead. They went up in flame. What's going on in there? Harry rushed in without listening to Daniel and... Oh, Harry. Yeah, I can leave. NYPD, also, real quick. Chocobo! Alright. 
I just need to store things. I could start using the tools, though, if I really want to. Okay. I can also get rid of the zoo key. Listen, in RPGs, I'm a hoarder, and there are certain items I don't use until it's time. And until I get that weapon that requires junk. Which, yes, that will be the main gun when I get it. I will be avoiding using it. I'm also going to sort the... Oh, wait, let me actually do this. Thank you. Make sure to empty the guns out. There we go. Whoa, no, 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 no. Do not discard tool or I will kill myself. Well, I accidentally used that, but I guess I need it anyways. I saw my health. Alright, that'll do. And now I have 10 slots. Nice. Sorry, I had to do some cleaning. I don't like throwing away healing items or anything like that, because sometimes you're real desperate for those. And when it comes to tools and all them, and definitely spare equipment like weapons and armor, I don't ever throw them away. Hold on to them until you find a weapon you like, which I would wait mid-game to late game, and then throw everything on it. Which, oh boy, when it happens, it will happen. Until then, let's get back to Central Park. I should have a fresh cup of coffee made downstairs. I made a pot. Alright, yep, he died. I'm sad. Boo-hoo. Whoops. Oh. Alright. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, do I have to reload my gun? There we go. Birds! Birds of a feather flock together. Alright. All you guys, junk. Which I have no problem with, honestly. Junk's great. Oh, actually, I'm gonna select the medicine. Yeah, I'm not junk farming yet. I'm trying to remember what gun it is that he makes with the junk. I think it's like a really, like, good handgun or assault rifle? I don't remember what. I could reload my old save data and be like, hey, look, I beat the game. Wouldn't be true. Snake first. Oh, you're a strong snake, aren't you? Level up. 
give me those bonus points, and I will take the ammo. Alright. Alright, that's the front. Oh wait, what's going on with my controller? Is there a dead zone in my controller? Uh-oh. One second. I think my controller might have a dead zone. Which, this is why I bought a new controller also, because I remember I had this issue with this controller before. Give me a second. Sticks, what is it? Yeah, it drops... 98. Let's increase it. Seconds. I'm working on this. Yeah, 98. Let's see. Ooh, not with that water. There we go. Decrease just a small bit. Bam! Everything should be 100%. Sync the device. Syncing. Please call the software when you finish. Okay. Oh, this is not what I wanted. Okay. All right, there we go. You need a key. I really like this controller, but it's a shame that it has a dead, like the dead zone keeps growing on it. I'm using a 8-bit DOSN30 Pro Plus. It's a pretty good looking slick controller. But yeah, that's why I kept stuttering walking that way. It was. Yeah. Oh, it's a fight. Snakes and a chest down there. I have to reload my gun soon, which is gonna keep me stationary for a few seconds. I keep moving. All right, snake's dead. Beautiful. I'll take all the ammo I can get. Really? Give me a second. Odd. Don't know why it stuttered there. Hmm. One second. I have to reopen it probably and <sighs> check out the software. Oh, I didn't mean to close this. Darn it. Open the tab. Okay. Desktop. Software again. Okay, six. What's wrong with you now? I think it's a hundred percent. But just in case, I shall decrease it just ever so slightly. Sync the device. Syncing. Don't remind me again. Okay. Okay. And close. All right. We'll try this again. Yeah, I really like this controller, but it's going. They all do one day. I don't like that ammo. I'm going to make it last. Every time I play this game, I've never really been in the fear of running out of ammo. Usually, enemies give you a decent amount, and then if you actually look at your chests and all that, you can usually find a decent amount of ammo. So, for the most part, you should be good. There's only one reason why you'd want to use your melee weapon, and I haven't gotten there yet. I'm stuck in between two, I have no idea what. Damn, you guys hurt.
Nope. I should be getting healed too soon. There we door. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with you, controller. Why are you doing this? Why do you hate me? You're, you behave so well, and you don't. Why? Why you hate me? It might just be the game. Maybe. I doubt my controller is going that bad. Everything should be at 100%. At this point, I think it's just the game, because everything's at 100. Yeah, no idea. Where to go? I'm trying to figure that out. I think I should be able to get into that door. Did I need? Did I actually screw up and put the zoo key away too early? Oh no! I might have put the zoo key away too early. Oh no! God, those guys are so hard to dodge. Level up. Ah, heal two. That's the good stuff. I think I use this, like, at night this point in time, like, a little less than a half, or half I have to go grab the zoo key. Am I have screwed up? Hmm. If so, that is my bad. Thank you. Was I right? Did I screw up? No. Never mind. Oh, man. I hate it when I'm... Not 100% functioning in the Branio. Need a key. 
Oh, I'm, I'm extremely dumb. Man, yeah, I definitely beat the game multiple times, can't you tell? It's not like you need a zoo key to get into the zoo. All the animals have escaped. Yes, they have. Hmm. All right, progress and burnt corpses. Okay, I can't go this way. He blocks it off. I love how no matter what you have equipped, she has the uh, pistol in her hand. Things made to the theater. I can only hope we make it in time. Spoiler, we kinda don't. Eve. The holiday season brings joy to us all. And this Christmas will be the most special of all. Uh -huh. Special because I will no longer be under the control of a host as I have since the dawn of time. Humans are weak. Mitochondria can self-evolve. Mitochondria must now take over the nucleus. I have to get backstage and stop her. Come on. Aya. Alright. That little girl. Again. Luckily there's a big sign scene backstage. Before I go, what's my health looking like? It's kind of sucky. No, 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 no. We're going to pop a medicine too. Why? Why are you doing this? You again? But you're too late. You will ruin my plans as you did last night. Oh, you will not ruin my plans as you did last night. And goodbye. Stop! There's a puddle over there. Who's mopping that up? I don't want to mop up a person. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Yeah, I don't want to become a goop puddle with a bunch of people. I'm going to pass on that. And now you can go around the person. Wait, 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 is this the way? Right, okay. Little girl go south, remember that. I... Oof, almost jumped the gun there, I want the loot. Ammo. Oh, good. Actually, a save and a chest over there. Oh, a polar bear. You know what? That's a... I'm gonna use you. Nope. Stay away. He also has electricity.
All right. Polar bear's dead. Give me medicine, which will be useful soon. Ammo. Perfect. Yes, save my progress. Things are about to get fun. The boss I'm about to have is a infamous... It's infamous for being difficult in a way, I'll just say. I think once you see it, you'll know why. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Little girl went south means I want to go west. Not because I don't trust her. I want this extra chest. So girl went south. Probably just wasn't anything. That's where the loot is. Haha. <laughs> I remember correctly, one of these is a gun, but I'm only guessing. No, a tool. Which I might start using those to show you how they are used and how good they are. They really are good. Don't start acting up controller joystick. You you got this. Worst comes to worst, I'll use my Steam controller. Or my Xbox 360 controller. Health is full. PE is full. I got the best armor I can have on right now. Alright. Oh, four birds. Oh, I'm popular. If I had a grenade launcher, you'd be dead. So tempting to take. It really is. Only you knew. Yep, I'm getting there. Then I think after this boss fight is the end of the chapter. And I shall call them. Oh, two snakes and a bear. Yeah, it's gonna say I'm safe because I'm a far enough. Yeah, bear hurts. That's all I gotta say. there. Oh, boomerang monkeys. Boomerang monkeys are a little difficult to avoid. I wish they were, but they are. I want to know if a banana fused to its arm or what. Level up. Ah, just ammo. I'm not 
worried about my health at the moment. Still got enough. I'll take more than that to kill me. Eh, I still don't trust myself. Ah, uh, sadly, nothing's up here. Except, you know, police barricades. Oop, my AT time is a lot faster now. Nice. Oh, they're shooting fart gas at me. Missing 20 ish health, but my PE energy is completely full. Which is good. I'm gonna need it. Uh, yes, there are chests in here. Good. PE defense. And a tool. You can also use tools on armor also to really buff your armor out. Which that one never hurts to do, but they can't hurt you if they're dead. Yeah, this is the final save point before the boss. A very awful boss it is. Just don't hurt me too much. I can go in missing 30 health and I'm fine. Just use fart gas, don't use your tentacles. Oh, actually, okay, go ahead. Reload. Around. Oh, I just took two junk. Oh, I didn't want those. One second. Yeah. Okay, I got inventory space. I'll just hold on to them for now. I'm gonna use a PE heal one. We're gonna save it. Then we're gonna hop into a boss battle, which. Ooh. It's only as damaged, you... it's only as difficult as you make it out to be. I'm gonna try my, uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna immediately try and slow. And then I'm gonna just pay attention and try and keep my health up. Oh, not yet. This different boss. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different thing. These are those worms that they were talking about. This boss does suck, though. Perfect. Ow. I can kill at least one of them. There we go. All right, I'm going to heal. I'm going to use a heal too. Nope, not you. I'd rather not die to worms. That's 22 damage. Oh, it hurts. 
God. All right, that's two down, two to go. All right, my PE energy is full. I'm gonna use a heal too. Beautiful. I need more AT. Nope, oh, move, shoot. Get her out. Because there's one left, it's the big boy now. All right, I'm gonna back away. Yeah. Level me up. Oh, level me up again. Nice. Oh, I got barrier. Ooh, barrier is really good. Oh, barrier is extremely good. Also, my max capacity is now 21. Give me a second. Let me just discard these. As much as I love to start turning those in, it's not happening. Now let me save it. And I'm gonna probably pop a heal one. Max health is now 181. When you level up in this game, you actually feel it. Unlike games, well, I mean, like uh, modern Final Fantasies, like 15. I hate 15 so much. game had so much potential. I was actually really excited for it for all the years of development. I kept track of all that news. It came out and I absolutely hated every second of it. So I'm going to tell you now, you'll never see me play 15 ever. I refuse to touch that game again. Oh. Here it is. All right, this is the boss battle I was talking about. Um, well, not much I can do. I need more PE energy. Your, your genes are stronger than I thought. Oh, my dear. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's just do what she says. Why not? Oh, it's a ponyta. And still, why did we agree to jump on this? Why? Why be on the side of humans? Wait, why be on the human side? Why not? I'm a human. Why are you going with them, and not me? What? And here's the battle arena. Woohoo! I need barrier. That's a Final Fantasy VII barrier if I ever seen one. Oh, goodbye. I need to use slow on her as soon as possible. Hide. All right.
God, this arena is so small. It's so hard to dodge attacks. Don't move, don't move. All right, no target, I know. And when you're not prepared for this fight, it absolutely sucks, trust me. Come in here under leveled, without heals, without barrier or slow, it's a bad time. On top of that, she does 30-something a hit, and I can't dodge it. Alright. Yeah, slow's really, uh, coming in clutch, eh? Oh, I'm dead. I'm going to die. Oh, thank god, it's over. Oh my god, I'm about to die. It seems you still don't know who I am. Well, if you don't know, you're my Achondra, Will. That's why we're drawn to the same opera. What are you talking about? Here, let me explain. Directly. Stop it! If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will. <laughs> Stop! Answer me, Daddy. Ben, weren't you going to the concert? I came with Mom, but she, she was all weird. What do you mean, Ben? I came with Mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why you came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. What do you mean, Mom freaked out? I got near the stage and she started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself, Dad. She left and everyone else went too. Lorraine. Cows of cheese. Casualties were much worse this time. We cannot put the lives of the citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have to order an evacuation. To evacuate all civilians out of Manhattan. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. What do you want to do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave that to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to protect the city. <laughs> Any word from A? Damn it, where could she be? Daniel, I need your help evacuating the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going back to look for her. Should we stop him, sir? He's lost Lorraine. You'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight that thing that hurt your mummy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I will. Don't worry. Daddy! 
Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. Can I show this boy the dog? Sure, let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. This is Shiva. Hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> that tickles. That cab was gonna murder somebody. How many times do I gotta tell you, we blocked this off. You won't even find a cat on this street. Ooh, here we go. I, oof, uh, give me a second. I told you, I've already contacted the police about this matter. What? Uh, uh, I'm not getting anywhere. Made my English. Oof. Hey, you Chinese? No, no, I'm a, a Japanese. Nada. Nihoji Deskoa. Oh, yes, can you speak Japanese? Shota Dakene. Dera Duska. I am Kuniki. Kunahiko Maida. Uh, Japanese, uh, uh, uh. Hey, if you could speak the language, go back. If you can't speak the language, go back to your country. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. Uh, uh, I'm getting. Uh, I'm. I'm hot. Uh, help! Uh! Yikes. It's now or never. Doop it, doop it, doop it, doop it, doop it, doop it, doop it. Spontaneous human combustion. I have, I believe that's correct. Quite. But. Oh, oh nope, still gone. Where? Hospital. You are finally awake. Who are you? I'm Kunihiko Ameda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He, fa he found you. Daniel. There's no one out there now. But the cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Where's Eve? 
What happened to the police? The people in the Central Park? Ben was okay, but... The rest to the audience, well, they just... Disappeared. Disappeared? You mean they weren't ignited? They all melted into a slime and became one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan, although it wasn't as grandiose in scale as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. It all sort of started when the scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named themselves Eve. Eve. The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. After acquiring the scientist sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She, the being, who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. So, after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl, and Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to the uh, an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this, and went to his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. Are you? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought you that monster had gotten a hold of you, though it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside me felt like it was being... You felt you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... Well, she's the only one that isn't affected. But... I... I don't understand. I... I think I may be a monster, like her. What? What are you saying, Aya? I don't know. What if... What if I end up killing you? Oh, shut up! You know that's not... Please, Daniel. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Please, go away. Just... Just stay away from me. I... Please. Yes, I understand your point. Hey, hey. Where do you think you're going? Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. I... I could never forgive myself if I killed... you. I... You're no monster. You're my best partner, Aya Bree. I'll be by your side. Always, Aya. Oh, 
when I touched Eve, that feeling. Was it Maya? But Maya died in the car crash with Mom. No, it couldn't be. It just couldn't be. Day three. Selection. Would you like to save your progress? <laughs> How did you know I'd like to save my progress? <laughs> yes, I'd like to save my progress. Thank you very much. There we go. Oh, good. All right. I think I'll end it there. Uh, so yeah, we're getting decently far. Day three out of six. So technically, uh, no, I say we're two sixths away done with the game. About thirty percent. Like I said, it's not that long. But man, I do enjoy this game. The voice, the voices, though, I keep forgetting some of them, and then I hard for me. I'm used to my voice being this. I don't ever do this. Eh. First time for everything, eh? Oh, well. I will see you next time. Oh, man, this one lasted a while. <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh, see you next time. And yeah, goodbye.